Be honest, friend. What's up? I want to be honest at the top and tell everyone that this is take two. Yes. <laughs> and the reason this is take two are my little toddler son's adorable Fred Flintstone feet that would not stop kicking into our recording area. We're recording on a coffee mm-hmm. table. It's very glamorous. Yes, it is. And he wouldn't stop kicking. No. And table. if you hear some uh, ruckus, oh, 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 in the background. Let's not pull on that, Finners. No, baby. Okay. I have all three of my children here with me today. <laughs> Technically, all four of them are here. Yes, you got one in the bed. One is just nicely contained. He can't do any damage. Mm-hmm. Here's one. Here's the female. The female. <laughs> Hi, Rosie. Can Hi. you tell everyone how old you are? What? How old are you? What grade are you in? Six. What grade is that? Is that, are you a senior in high school? I uh, know. Do you drive? Do you vote? Hi. You gonna build mommy a casita? No. In your backyard? No. You're not a homeowner? What's your deal? Get it I'm together. I'm in first grade. Oh, first gotcha. grade. Gotcha, that's gonna take some time, Liam. And this is my big guy. Can you give everyone a wave and a hi? Hi. Hi, it's Jack. Jack, how old are you? I'm in third grade. You're third grade and you're eight years old, right? And you look so cool in your beanie right now. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. I just like beanies. It's cool. There's a lot. I just want to say there's a lot of people sitting on top of me. Yeah, and I'm here just in this with my coffee, you know? My kids are at school. This would be like a great split screen, like homeschool mother versus this, traditional This is school. exactly, guys. This is like I'm what it looks like. And she always has her kids with her. Yeah. But I love that. Always. And which is great. Boss, and I stop. am usually, I usually push them off on another adult. And also we keep making them. So. Yes, you do. And I stop. <laughs> She's doubled me. She's lapped me twice. I've doubled you, and I can't promise that I'm not going to triple, triple you. you. It's They're going to keep it's coming. Just... It's a Deering production facility over there in Phoenix. Yes, that's oh, correct. Babies. Mommy? Yes. Do, do, do you know what you put your kind feet of b- b- birthday party you're going to have? Do I know what kind of birthday party I'm going to have? Mm-hmm. Well, actually, Michelle's birthday is coming up very soon. Mine's not until November, so I don't have to think about that for a while. I'm going to eat this Nutri-Brain bar. Okay, that your two-year-old. What kind of party are you going to have? Um, yeah. I'm going to have... Um, Queen Elsa? Uh, probably. No, I think I'm going to do a Beauty and the Beast party. I don't know. What should I do, Rosie? Uh, be a party planner. Because if I'm Beauty and the Beast, I can wear a yellow dress, and yellow is like my thing. Mm-hmm. I'm actually wearing a yellow dress right you now. You are. That's true. You're very Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast. All right. Okay. That's good. Yeah. So. Oh, wow. Can you're, I you're, it? It's good that you're actually angled towards me, because your son, who is going to be two in a few days... Just jumped from a very high height. He did survive, and he was fine. Okay. Well, but I saw it. A wee. Yeah. If so. you have a Beauty and the Beast party, legitimately, can I please come as Mrs. Potts? I'm yes. so I'm like perfect for her right now. Oh, you are. My belly's we round, and I love happen. I love Angela Lansbury in a way that is weird and unnatural. Mm-hmm. Like I'm her biggest. I wrote her fan mail when I was seven years old. I wrote Angela Lansbury. Snail mail, fan mail, telling her Mommy. how much I admired. I remember. I asked you who your celebrity crush was, and one of your answers was Angela Lansbury. And I'm like, no, no it was I meant, Sir like, Michael Caine. No, that was what you ended up saying. But first, you're like, can I can I say Angela Lansbury? I'm like, I don't think you have a crush on her. You just admire. If someone is old and British, I love them. Yes. Who will I be? Who would you be at the Bell's party? Uh, well, well, I'm Bell. Um, I'm Bell. Yeah, I was gonna say, okay, Alexis, maybe you could be the lady who needs a dozen eggs. No. <laughs> no. Let's see. Um, the broomstick. No, the the duster. You can wear a pretty yeah, dress. Yeah, the feather dusters seen too much. Mm. Yes, and. Oh, lumière. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Mommy, I, I, I have a good idea. Yes. We, 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 we could both be Mrs. Pot. Okay. It could we'll be both. Chip. Chip. Chip's a boy. Oh, you, you can be a girl teacup. Sorry, I'm saying no to all your ideas. These are good ideas. I'm no, they're sorry. not. They're not because you're saying no to all of them. I'm sorry. I have a okay, so um, so this is why there's craziness happening. Mm-hmm. Um, but we obviously just decided to do the podcast anyway because this is our lives and um, this is what you get. Mm-hmm. If you follow us, this is what you get. That's right. Our craziness. So we're not in our normal setting. That's right. We are sitting in a loft area at our church, actually. <laughs> That's right. Why are, Why are we here, Michelle? Tell them. We're here because we're shooting a video this week with our with the production team at our church, Scottsdale Bible Church in Scottsdale, Arizona. That's right. It's a three day shoot. This is we just wrapped day two. Mm-hmm. 
So it's going to be for Valentine's Day. It's going to be super fun. That's right. We wrote it, and they're shooting it. It's going to air. So you're done today. That's a series I'm wrapped wrapped. for you. The day three is just for you, baby. So there is a tradition on set when you're like fully wrapped for a project that everyone on the crew is supposed to clap for you. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Nobody so claps for me. Let's clap for, let's clap for Michelle. Okay, at home, can you clap? Thank you. Thank and you. if you're listening, please clap for her. Her ego is very fragile and she really needs this from you. I do. And from all of us. My Enneagram mate is like, mm, I don't really need your affirmation, but thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Mommy, the, 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 the clapping was like a rhythm. Like we said, she's a very mature six. She's doing one of our rhythm games from our homeschool music class. That's what she's singing right now. See, do you see how Leanne's always trying to work in homeschool, like wherever we go? It's called multitasking, and all mothers do it. <laughs> <laughs> Read about George Washington while mommy records a podcast. I no, I that's not true. With this is, I think this is learning too, though, because she's getting to see oh, yeah. what I work on. They're they're getting to be on set with us. Which look, this is my husband and I's business, right? Yeah. We have yeah. the acting studio. I know we talk about it all the time, but the Deering Studio is our yeah. That's our business. That's yep. our bread and butter. So we've been coaching actors for almost 13 years yeah um, and we work together as a family on set all the time so these guys are used to it you yeah. wouldn't know it from Finn's unprofessional behavior but I mean you're 23 months old get it together Finn oh 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 he got it he's, he's good he's good he's fine. he's fine he's fine guys he's fine he's fine don't worry we about it we call this kid the bruiser <laughs> kid just takes the hits that was, uh, oh oh yeah we're good loud noises but we're good um Hmm, we're gonna be done with the clapping though. As much as I love that you're, she's practicing her four-four time. Yeah, <laughs> common time. I love that. Um, so we just, we thought we'd talk about since we're here and we have Leanne's kids, and you guys have seen our kids in our videos if yeah. you've watched them at all. All the time. We always have our kids in there. My kids love to be there. Leanne's kids love to be um, acting, and actually, our kids are professional actors mm -hmm. we all have signed with a local agent here in Arizona and we do acting occasionally in fact you guys have some news in the Deering family what's yeah. happening tomorrow we booked a full family commercial tomorrow I'm not gonna say the client just in case they wouldn't want us to for some reason yeah. everyone every job is different but all five of us are going to work on a commercial tomorrow okay so let's just briefly um, if anyone's curious about that, like yeah. how it happened, let's just give people like a quick inside look into what it's like to have kids in the acting business, be a yeah. family in the acting business, and have. so like go through this audition for tomorrow. That's so right. tell, tell us about how it started. Like got an audition, right? So if you like us, need your children to be famous so that you can yes. live through them. These are you the can, steps. You can cash their paychecks and That's buy new right. shoes. That's right. Um, Write these, these tips down. <laughs> these are the steps. You take. No. So Arizona is a more minor market relative to obviously the big fish, the Los Angeles and New York and Chicago and places where a lot of film gets made. But there's a really good commercial scene here. Yeah. So wherever you are in the country, stop, collaborate, listen. Stop, collaborate, and listen. I think Leanne is it. back with the new edition. Something <laughs> grabs a hold of me tightly. This is we can go with this. Right. Um, Google SAG S A G agencies near me, and you will find depending on where you live, either or maybe just a handful or a whole bunch that you get to sift through, and they all have different submission guidelines. So once you see one that looks sort of close to what you're interested in, like let's say you have a kiddo who loves improv comedy, loves comedy, so you know this is an actor. This is not someone who's really interested in print modeling or like fashion and runway editorial stuff. This is like this is my child passion um, look for the agencies that specialize in that those are cables no 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 um, thank you Jack <laughs> yeah and then I would recommend just follow their submission guidelines if they say no at first yeah follow up in six months yes if that's the agent you want cycle back like yeah ask for feedback too like mm -hmm. well what you know I would you know this is something I really want to do so can you give me some tips on maybe what I could do over the next six months or a year and yeah. then maybe you take a class or get better headshots whatever it may be right um oh that's my choice. if you're michelle don't hit people and yell at people in the lobby maybe we right do that exactly that's much. um yeah that's not advisable um if you're leanne stop crying once in a while <laughs> take a break from it <laughs> come up for air it's fine um yeah so we've um so we've done that we yeah. found a great agent here in phoenix yep. um leanne obviously found her first and then she also signed myself and my daughter mm -hmm. um my son really wants to be on her roster too so i gotta let her know but uh -huh. Um, yeah, so we've done that. So then, so then with this audition or this job that you booked tomorrow. Yeah. So then, how did that work? So this was a self tape audition. Now, because because we live in unprecedented times, pivot the COVID and the pandemic. Because 
because it's a weird year. Um, and Leanne is weird. Buzzwords, buzzwords, buzzwords. <laughs> because 2020, Topical. that's still seeping into 2020. I just, all of those words I just said, I'm so tired of saying, I never was saying yes. that again. Right now, a lot of castings are being done virtually. My husband is actually doing a pretty big casting uh, right now for a local company out here. It is all being done virtually. The callbacks are being done over Zoom. The initial uh, audition is self-tape. It's just, that's how a lot of stuff is happening. So we did a family self-tape um, this week on our cell phone. It was super simple. It's worth So they learning. send you a script? So wait, okay, yes. just back it up for people who like have no no knowledge. Yeah, of yeah, of course, of so course. So the agent calls you or yes. emails you and ring, says- ring, hello. And says- She talks like this. Cause she's an agent, see? It's like a film noir. <laughs> she sounds just like that, actually. Um, so she calls you up and says, I have an audition for you. That's right. Here's what we need, right? Yes. Yeah, and she sends us the script, and they usually tell you, like, they'll want a slate, which is just you saying your your name and your agency. Sometimes they ask for other information, like they might want you to do a 360-degree turn so they can see you from all sides. They might say something like, uh, just tell us something funny about yourself. Tell us something you need. Help us get you Do a cartwheel. You. I've never been asked to do a cartwheel. And if somebody Stand asks, on your head. I would politely decline. Shave your head. <laughs> That's a definite no. No, they never ask that kind of stuff. No. It's really just like, they just want to see a sense of your personality when you're not working with the script. They want to see what your body language looks like when you're relaxed and comfortable and talking about something you know really well. Because as soon as they put the script in front of you, now someone else's words are in your mouth. Right. So they're trying to see, can yeah. she stay? What's your personality? Yes. Um, okay, so then you, you have the tape, and you, you do the tape, and then you send it to your agent or directly to the client? depends. Oh, okay. Usually, usually it goes through the agency first. Okay. Because they're your umbrella. Y your agent is your friend. She is the mothership. She's the one who negotiates your rates for you and how long they get to use your image for. She like, she or he does all the heavy lifting Okay, for now, you. quick question for yes. those, I know the answer, but just for those of you who might be wondering. How does, I know the answer. I know the, uh, I know all the answers. I'm a mom. Um, <laughs> how, how does your agent get paid? Do you pay her? No, she takes a commission. So if you book a job, depending on whether it's agency, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> there okay, goes that question again. Okay. Um, I will. Say okay, so how do you, how does your agent get paid? She gets a commission based on uh, whether it's a union job or a non-union job. It, the percentage is relevant to, or okay. relative. To so that, excuse just me. asterisk on this one. If you ever have, if you ever ask to pay an agent, that might be the sign of a scam. Correct. So the agent get books the job and then they get a percentage. Usually about twenty percent. You don't pay them up front, is what never, Michelle is never, saying. Never, never, never. Paying them is okay. Paying them up front for not having done anything. Yeah. They say like, oh, it's five thousand dollars to get on my website and have right. me do all this stuff for you. I've That's had to stuff. pay like a nominal, like maybe a hundred buck fee to cover. That's different. Yeah, for, to cover web stuff, but that's that that's different. You, you should never have to pay to be represented. Basically. And we're talking about large quantities of money, not yeah. like, hey, there's this really modest upload fee to get you in our database. Like, yeah. that's a little different. Yes. Okay, so then you send it to her, she sends it to the client, or you send it direct to the client, and then, then what happens next? You kind of sit by the phone and wait? That's exactly right. Then I stare at my cell phone for 48 hours. Yeah. I don't eat. No. Don't I don't want to bathroom. Bathroom. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. No. Yeah. Um, yeah, and that's that's it. That's the life of an actor. No, so you wait for the call. Sometimes you have a callback. What's a callback? A callback means you've been shortlisted. So you've done something right. Congratulations. Ooh. People like you. You made the first cut. You, have you made it to Hollywood. You're validated. Um, and then you get to do it again. The whole thing again. The same thing again? I mean, sometimes there's adjustments in the callback. They might give you a different direction. They might say, I really like the way you did this part, but I want to see if you can do this part differently. Or they, or they may be testing you with different actors to see who has chemistry together. Gotcha. Like, there's all kinds of reasons for callback. Okay, so then how did you find out that you got the job that you're going to be doing tomorrow? Mm, our agent called us. She just called and said, congratulations, you got the job? Yeah, she said, good job. Good job. People like you. Awesome. So you feel affirmed? Yes. Okay, awesome. I feel like, I feel like you're leaning into a three-week right now. <laughs> You're just like me, just notice me. <laughs> okay, so the, and then what? And then what happens? Like, do you have to like wear certain clothing? Do you have to dress? Do they do your hair and makeup? How does that work? Again, it totally depends. It depends on the budget and the scope of the project. So very often, there's a hair and makeup person who's going to get you ready when you're there, uh -huh. and they give you specific guidelines. So they'll say, come with your foundation on, but nothing else, or come okay. with your hair blown out, but don't curl it, don't style it. Mm -hmm. um, they may ask you to bring certain wardrobe staples, like especially for me right now, I'm in maternity sizes, so likely they're going to want me to bring a few pairs of maternity pants along because that's stuff that a costumer is less costumer a wardrobe specialist is less likely to just have on hand right, right. gotcha so okay. it really depends so what do you have to bring tomorrow 
What's that? Uh, I'm bringing a couple of maternity tops and pants. Yeah, they and can do your hair and makeup. She's shopping today. Uh, Diane does hair and makeup. Diana Yellow is who's working with us oh, nice. tomorrow, and okay. she's awesome. So yeah, yeah she'll be okay. doing hair and makeup. Oh, nice. And does like Rosalind get hair and makeup and stuff too? I mean, Rosalind's perfect as it. She woke up perfect. Oh, oh, you can't see her, but she she's giving me a little she's... shoulder shutter. <laughs> uh, sh- shoulder shimmy, actually. But I mean, yeah, they'll powder them and okay. they'll, you know, make Just sure curious. no one's shiny. Like, but they'll do her, maybe like do her hair or something. Yeah. Right, Camille would love that. Oh, wait. Yeah, oh, totally. Um, we've never actually, well, Camille's never been on a set that they get to do her hair. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. Um, so, okay, cool. And she's then you'll go tomorrow. Box, though. Camille's oh, yeah. Box, yeah, oh, and she's been on set. Just smaller stuff that right. she hasn't had hair. Um, so then, so you'll do the shoot tomorrow. You'll wrap, and then do you do you do you get a pay, do you walk out with a paycheck? How does yes, that work? They stuff bills into your pocket. They mm-hmm. put them in your bra. No, no. no. you get paid. The agency it goes through the agency again. Okay. So she's your agency will take their cut, and then they'll send you the check, and awesome. then you're rich, and you never have to worry about ever anything. again in your life. You can pay off your mortgage. You can buy pay off your friends' mortgages. So this is my mortgage. If you I win the lottery, you would you pay off my mortgage? I was just about. It's so weird that you said that. You when I saw Michelle posted on her Instagram stories, which by the way you should know this. I've told you this before, but your story is like always the first, first one in my Instagram same. because I were only like four stories that I watch regularly. So, she purchased thirteen lottery tickets. Yeah, it was my thirteenth wedding anniversary. Lucky number thirteen. So, what's the best gift? Powerball tickets. She got him something else too, but she also got him thirteen lottery tickets. I remember looking at that and thinking, I really hope she wins because I know if she wins, she is going to pay off my mortgage. I would. I know if I won seven hundred million dollars. I would do more than pay off your mortgage. I would Aww. buy you a, another minivan. That's or maybe so a bus, nice. actually. I'm going to need it the way I'm going. Yeah, I'm going to need are. a church van. Yeah, I would buy it. I don't know. I, I go, I would, all my friends. That's so nice. Take yeah. Care of. yeah, same Z. But not, not all of my friends. I don't want anyone to listen to this and go, ooh, I'm sad. Because you might, you might not be. She has too many friends to make those kinds of promises. I know. We should do a podcast. I want to do a podcast. So friends. Michelle knows friends because I, I do. It's like a special we should, skill. I we should do a whole episode on friendship. That's we a should. very we should. good idea. Um, okay. Well, awesome. Well, thanks for listening to our little. Wait, are um, we done? Well, we're, so we're moving on to it. We're moving on to the B block. But that was so fast. I have more to I know, say. I know. Well, you know what? You're going to have to save it because we like to keep these short and sweet. And, and your children are now throwing things. So. Wooden crates. <laughs> and he stole the juice out of my bag. Oh, it's still my yeah, it's oh, fine. I'm really it's sorry still, about no, that. No, it's fine. It's like sealed. I think. Uh, otherwise, we're going to have to pay for a cleaner to come to our church. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so let's move on to our next block. Okay. Okay, so it's um, oh this Do time. Do you have an enneagram? Okay, yeah, and I have um, a question from enneagram. Oh, good. Um, hey, yeah. Hold on, let me just pull it up so I get it exactly. That was way better. I'm glad we started over. Yeah, same. Check. That's a really good fort. Thank you. Oh my gosh, we get so many. You gotta look at these answers to our questions about enneagram ideas. Mommy, Ooh, okay. Mommy, look, tunnel. Look, tunnel. tunnel. <gasps> good tunnel, baby. Ooh. We're almost done. We're like five minutes. This one. Oh, that's such a good question. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So, um, okay. Why don't you intro this? Sorry. I always intro. I so like. now it's time for one of our favorite segments, which is called Do You Even Enneagram? But do you even Enneagram? She literally just told me to intro the segment, and then she couldn't even let me get through one <laughs> sentence. <laughs> I thought that was our thing. I With, thought we had an intro that was like that, but anyway. And we probably do. No, and we talk over each other all the time. We I think we've definitely, we've reached that comfort level. We love we the We finish Enneagram. each other's sandwiches. Mm-hmm. I never met someone who thinks so much like me. Jinx! <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So we asked our followers on Instagram to, if they had any Enneagram questions um, specifically for this topic. And we got a really great one that mm-hmm. I think would be fun for us to answer here. Let's do it. Um, it's from Wit and the World is the uh, Enneagram handle. Is it Wit or Quit? It's Wit. W-I-T. Okay. Cool. Um, how, how do you find the sweet spot between comedy and truth when you do your Enneagram videos? Mmm. Good question. I'm going to answer with a long, drawn-out moan and nothing else. Ready? Mm. 
going to stare awkwardly at her until she figures out what she's going to say. Why am I leaving? I know what I'm going to say. Okay. I, I can only answer this for me. Your answer will, will very likely be different than mine. Um, that was really cute toddler giggles. I was like, for a just... second, I was like, was that crying or giggling? It no, giggling. it was giggling. It was so cute. Sorry, my toddler's really, really cute. This is why I keep making children. I would say that for me, finding the sweet spot, because we do want to be honest. We need to be honest to the Enneagram types. We can't write jokes just for joke's sake. We have to be faithful to the archetypes that we've created while still acknowledging that there's no way we can hit on every nuance of each type, of course. But I would say for me, when I'm writing and when I'm thinking about the characters, I lean, I rely heavily on the unhealthy attributes of each type because that tends to be where all the funny stuff is. And look, we've all been guilty of living in that space and then we become a little more self-aware and we correct and we correct and we hopefully move toward a more healthy um, area, which is (laughs) always less funny. Yeah, I would say, (laughs) Um, I would say that, yeah, I obviously agree with what Leanne's saying. And for me, um, the truth is really, really important. And not more important than being funny, because they need to be funny. But especially early on, I relied so heavily on feedback, um, on a t- especially a couple of the types that I was just having a hard time getting my head around, the one and the six. Um, and it was really, really helpful to have... Um, commentary from people that helps me kind of lean into more truth that then they would find funny mm. yeah i relate to that with the nine to do this one again. <laughs> so loud. they're louder than we are hey boys boys can you just can you try to just keep the game a little like quieter? we have five more minutes and we're done we're so close you guys are so awesome thank you just try as best you can i know you can't stop all of it maybe we could just do your answer again where the squeals were really loud yeah and okay. have our guy cut it Okay. I'm, I'm doing it. We can't afford him. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So I, uh, I I agree with what Leanne's saying. I um, the the truth is so important to me. It's not. It, it might be more important than the the jokes okay. because I really do want to be true. Uh, what I what I don't like is Finn. You're rude. It's okay. I'll just pause a second. What I don't like is when people are like, I, I didn't even find that funny because it was. So I was so distracted by the fact that it's not me. Mm. And we always get that. And then we have the same type and the same person going, that was hilarious. That's just like me. So, I mean, we're always going to get that a little bit. But I really want to be truthful because there's so much comedy in truth. Mm. Right? So um, I would say the balance is, what is the balance? I mean, we just really do try to teeter that balance, don't we? Of yeah. truth and humor. Yeah, because real life is what's funny, you know? The people that we know and love and that are closest to are the ones that make us laugh the hardest. Yeah. So I hope that we become that for our viewers right. over time. They feel like, oh, I feel like I know Leanne and Michelle. Right. And Look, I, I went and saw a stand-up comedy show with Jerry Seinfeld. Have you mm-hmm. heard of him? Uh, no, never have. Yeah, he's yeah. a comer. Uh, he's kind of famous. Um, and he is a clean comic, which I really respect. Yeah, me too. And he said that the best kind of comedy, which is his kind of comedy, is when people slap their leg and they go, it's so true, it's so true. And that's what they're laughing about because they have it's some aspect of real life that they haven't thought of as funny and putting it in that context. Sure. And that's really what I draw on for humor is you you lean back and laugh because it's so relatable mm-hmm. and you never thought about it that way. Right. So that's really the what I try to go for, the balance between truth and comedy is yeah. – is really bringing the comedy out of the truth. Sure. Out. Absolutely. Good question. Keep them coming. We'll answer. <laughs> that was a good question. Keep them coming and we'll answer more soon. Okay. We've got to say goodbye and then yes. I'll read the review. So if you made it this far in the episode with Finn screaming and the thunderous booming in the background. High five, friends. It's it's, it's a distracting episode. It's you real are, life. You should get a t-shirt. I should get a t-shirt. I should get a t-shirt? No, anyone who made it this far should get a t-shirt. If you're listening and you're the first person to respond somehow to us and tell us you heard this part, we will send you a t-shirt. I don't know what the t-shirt's going to say. I have no idea what the t-shirt's going to say. It might be an old t-shirt from my husband's drawer, but you will get a t-shirt. Yes. A t-shirt is coming your way. Test. Who can respond fastest? Okay. So we're going to say goodbye, but before we do, I want to... Are you telling? Hey, Finners. Finners, what's this? What's this? My puppy would be excited about this. But... Okay. okay, so we're going to say goodbye. Um, but before we really say goodbye, we want to read a five-star review. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we've been doing this. And we've gotten a lot more lately, so I love it. But I saw one, and you're going to die. 
Okay, you're okay. gonna die. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. What's okay. Happening? So this is a five star review, and the title of the review is absolutely the best thing to come out of 2020. And that's very nice. The handle of the person who wrote this is, and I quote, I'm gonna spell it out so there's it's more dramatic. M D U G G A R. M Dugger? It's not Michelle Duggar. But what if it is Michelle Duggar, mother of 72 children? If Michelle Duggar listens to our podcasts, then I will feel like we have arrived. Yeah. But that would be that would be a, like a crazy moment. So Michelle Duggar, if this is really you, then wow. M Duggar. Gosh. And if it's just another M Duggar, we're just really also very happy that you're listening. But I'm gonna read the review. Thank you, Leanne and Michelle, for brightening my week. I was so excited to discover your podcast, and it absolutely has not disappointed. Thank you for being funny and real and honest. Although I do have one note. I'm I'm a two, and it is always about food. <laughs> but I can't wait to listen every week. <laughs> we know, but it's funny. <laughs> the twos in my life do love to bake. They I do. have to say. They do. They show you up know, with food, man. The twos um, solve everything with a good meal. They do. It's true. Um, and, if, and if it's not food for you, then it's like something else. Like you show up and you clean, or you do someone's laundry, or it's some kind of active service. That's right. But food, we like to joke about food, even though we know it does annoy some of you twos. But Michelle Duggar, I mean, M. Duggar, <laughs> thank you for that. I feel like it is Michelle Duggar. It might be. She would be a two. Oh, for I sure mean, she's a two. She's got to be a two. She's got to be a two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, um, thanks for listening, friends, and uh, we will be back next week, maybe? Maybe with children? Maybe not? I don't know. Uh, what do you, you think? You never can tell <laughs> with Leanne and Michelle. Say, kid, bye, kids, say bye. Just yell, bye. Bye. Come, come on in and say bye. 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 <laughs> bye. <laughs> that was awesome. Good job, guys. Perfect. Yeah.